This is Anklerisa. Anklerisa is a 15 foot toothy whale with forward facing teeth and a high bite force for piercing prey. Anklerisa's head and snout were very strong and probably used for ramming the same way modern orca whales do. All right, hello everybody. This is Anklerisa, a surprise mod for me, but a good surprise nonetheless. So let's get right to it. This is our subspecies. This is our 5% damage subspecies. You've got that huge knot on the nose right there and the long snout, as well as the forward facing teeth, which Anklerisa is known for. I really like this default skin. I think it's really fitting and kind of natural looking. Next, we have our 10% bleed. You can see definitely got a bit chunky over here and the teeth are much longer far more spiky here that's kind of terrifying to see coming at you next is our plus 10 percent health and carry capacity you got two tiny little teeth up there in the front the snout is way way longer he still has the same chunkiness from our last guy and the skull brain case here is a little bit bigger next we have plus five percent armor and minus 2.5 percent cooldowns which is pretty nice the teeth they don't face upwards as much they face more downwards but they're smaller and more compact they're a little bit slimmer again the fin on the back is a little bit rounder as well and we've gone back to our smaller brain case here next we have our plus 2.5 percent damage and plus 2.5 percent armor he's much thicker boy he's got a lot of smaller tiny teeth that seem to only exist at the end of the snout there the nose area right here is huge we've got mm, same size here but the front pectoral fins are much wider Wider. Next is our plus 5% speed and turning speed. The snout here basically looks like a beak now with a small amount of teeth and very triangular. The body overall is much smaller and you can barely see the nose cavity here. It's kind of wild. And then we're back to our plus 5% damage. Let's check out the female skin right quick. Okay. So a little bit grayer and the yellow dots are much lighter than they were before. But other than that, pretty much the same. All right, here's our baby model. We're just this, like this cute little pink thing right here but he is super super tiny compared to like the adult uh you'll see soon when we become our adult self but i love this cute little baby skin kind of like a freshly born mammal but let's go through the calls right quick first up we have broadcast then we have two call like an exhale through the nose threaten Ooh, that's really good for a like sea creature threaten. Normally the threatens for like aquatics are not good. War call? Talk. A little jiggle there. Shake. <laughs> it's basically just a barrel roll. Uh, mystery one. It's like a playful kind of uh, play with me, maybe emote. Mystery two. Just a backflip. Okay. Mystery three. You're just laughing. I'm going to call that laughing my tails off. My tail fin off. All right. Let's go through our animations right quick. Here's our swim. Very fast tail movement. This is our slow swim, by the way. So and then here's us from the side right quick. Looks pretty good. And from the front. Ooh, it takes a minute to kind of get into place for me to show you guys what it looks like. Up top, just in case y'all wanted to see. Here's our speed swim. The Basically, the tail fin is just moving much wider. There's a much bigger range of motion for the speed swim. <laughs> it looks a lot weirder when I'm like trying to do it from different angles. It looks faster like this instead of just like a wider arc or wider range of motion. All right, here's our sit animation if it works. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we kind of settle down right there on the floor. It's pretty standard. Kind of looks like if you were dragging yourself on land, what I would expect a dolphin to look like. Let's do our sleep. We just kind of curl up gently, not very much, and our get up. All right, and here's our adult model in the water. You can tell there's a much bigger difference than like the baby model here. And you've got the spots that show up and you're not all pink anymore. And you got the snout here and the teeth. So looking pretty good. All right, we're gonna go through our adult sounds right quick. First up, we have broadcast. 
It actually sounds like a whale, which is pretty nice touch. I like it. Tuco? Kind of like a soft wheeze, if that makes sense. I don't know. Threaten? I love the threaten so much. It's such a good threaten emote. Like, really feel the rage in this guy. Porco? Oh, I like that. It started deep and then it turns into a high-pitched kind of yawn thing. Talk. It's similar to the Tuco, or it might actually be the same. I'm not sure. Interesting. Shake. Our barrel roll looking very nice. Mystery one. Yes, the kind of like the play with me. Mystery two. <laughs> I love that emote is basically just a backflip. Mystery three. I love that it looks like it's just dying of laughter. That's the one I was saying earlier where I'm like it's laughing my tail fin off. That's that emote right there. I love this so far though. It's really, really great. But let's go through our animations right quick. Here is our slow swim. Which is a pretty nice speed. You're covering quite a bit of distance, you know, from the side. Kind of slows down when you're looking at it from the side so that might not be like the best way to swim let's see from the front barely anything just moving incredibly slow underneath and up top tail is barely moving when you use like precise movement to look at it and then here's our speed swim so yeah much bigger range of motion farther up and down that's pretty much how that works in like real life as well and then yeah if i'm doing it from the side it's a shorter wavelength really and just shorter and faster if i try to do it from the front it's the same thing short and fast but not as much range of motion as when i'm looking from behind the camera we're going to do our precise movement so here's our turn in place speed it's not bad you know pretty fast actually that's pretty good for something like a dolphin it should be pretty flexible and pretty fast and then here's our back swim and then we have to the side yeah there's long long strokes to our other side it still kind of moves forward even when you're just trying to go left or right so just be aware of that we're gonna see if we can move on land oh oh no we can breathe just fine so you don't really have a problem like drying out but uh it is not very fast so and that makes sense and here's our eating animation pretty simple just taking small little chunks out nothing you know insane all right we're gonna go through these skins right quick this is the default male skin i just realized how purple it was it was more like a light blue in the character select screen so i like seeing this like dark purple mixed with the orange dots i think it's a really nice default skin but next we have common northern hourglass emperor superstar tyrant leopard glacial aquita chinook splotched albino melanistic terror and agate i think these are pretty decent none of them stick out super super much to me but they're not bad by any means let's check the abilities right quick we have two head slots here so we have bite causes medium damage and low bleed and we have cleaving bites deals a medium amount of damage but ignores armor and weight of the target so this is going to be good for bigger creatures apexes you know then we have balancing act balance small animals on your snout for as long as your stam allows can move and drag them around so that's basically a clamp that's funny though i love that i really want to see how that plays out as well we have two slots for senses so first we have moonlight hunter gain 15 percent increased stamina and 10 percent increased movement speed during the night that's pretty good we're already pretty fast lone hunter gain 10 percent increased attack damage when not in a group diving lungs increases oxygen and stamina recovery by 15 percent it doesn't take that long to get your oxygen back stamina could be useful but i wouldn't worry too much about your oxygen with this one pod increases damage by three percent and armor by 2.5 percent for each cetacean citizen i don't know how to 
pronounce it i'm sorry in the group stacks up to five times i would definitely be using that if i'm in a group but thankfully you can put at least two of these on we have two slots for front limb we have burst swimmer increases swim sprint speed by 10 percent, along with 50 percent increased acceleration that's very good i will t always take more speed you're never gonna have not enough speed then charge charge forward at high speed causing high damage and stunning anything you hit very good and very much in line with what we know about this mod and then lunge a quick dart forward at high speed that ends in a bite causing heavy damage and recoil basically the same thing as charge but we'll see metabolism we have gentle piscivore low food and water drain can eat exclusively fish but gain a 3.5 percent boost to your max health that's a little bit helpful 3.5 percent is not a lot though so I wouldn't be too pressed about it. Hot blooded, high food and water drain can eat meat, fish, bones, clams, mushrooms, and insects. Decreases oxygen drain and increases speed by 3% at the cost of 5% stamina. Pescatarian can eat fish, meat, and clams. Has moderate food drain but gain a 10% boost to your stamina. I would take that one too. Hide, we have pressurized hide. Increases oxygen by 10%, stamina by 20%, along for 5% movement speed and increased water vision. Only activates when diving so not when you're on the surface of the water. Then you have streamlined increases swim speed by 10% and swim turning speed by 5%. Also very good. Barnacle and crested hide increases armor by 15%. These are all really good. Any one of these could be very useful. Tail, breach, lunge forward when in water. I think that's basically gonna let us do the jumping out of water thing that, um, what's it called? I forget our other swimmer, our official dinosaur swimmer, but. The way they jump out of the water is probably will let you do that. Fling causes heavy knockback. That's very good. Rudder increases swim turn speed by 5%. All very good. And you have two slots, so you can do two of each. Then we have voice and stunning chirp. Send out a loud click that stuns nearby creatures. That's going to be fun. I want to see how people react to that stun or if they're just going to like t-pose or walk up. I don't know. But let's go through the ability animations right quick. First up, we have bite. One more time, bite. It is a very quick animation. Like that's really good. Next we have cleaving bite. That's a big side swipe kind of bite. That's pretty good as well. And it has a bit of a cooldown. Yeah, we have balancing act next, but I'm not sure how to use it. It doesn't seem to have a standalone animation here. From what I get from it, it's like a clamp, but I'm not sure and I haven't been able to show you. So apologies for that. Okay, next we have breach. Yeah, you get a spiral jump lunge type thing. So we're going to try it going out of the water. So we're going to go up and breach. Woo! Yeah, there we go. It's definitely just for the jumping out of water. It looked way better than when we did it under the water. All right, next we have charge. Mm, doesn't feel that fast, but it lasts for a long time and it's still going. All right, so we're sprint swimming and then we're going to do charge. Oh yeah, that looks way better this way. This will let you ram anything in your way. But this one also has a really long cooldown and some of the other abilities share the cooldown with this move. So if you miss, you know, you got to survive for like 20 seconds, right? So we're going to speed swim right quick and our last move is lunge. Oh, we're going to do it one more time. Lunge. Yeah, it's still the same. This one, it didn't drift off, but it is still that short lunge forward. I don't know how useful that's going to be unless it's just a point blank attack. Next, we have fling, which is just a big up down swipe move. It causes a heavy knockback. One more time, fling. Yeah, same thing. Doesn't matter which direction we're looking. And lastly, for our voice call, we have stunning chirp. Whoa, that is actually kind of scary. <laughs> but yeah, guys, my opinion on Ankleriza is that it's a very well done mod. The model is excellent. It has so many different subspecies variations. You're pretty fast in the water. You have good oxygen, good stamina. And even if you don't like the way it's at right now, you have plenty of abilities to increase or better that if you want to. You can even make yourself faster than you already are. And I think we have a decent speed. The skins are decent and you have abilities that'll let you fight both small small tier and apex creatures and you have abilities that let you either play solo or with a group despite not knowing if that's actually a behavior that you know this particular mod even produced it's still very very excellent i 
know I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this mod and it might end up being one of my favorites for this year so far I just really really enjoy what I've seen from it and I hope you guys do too but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video make sure to check out my other videos I cover a lot of different mods and I cover games that you might not even know about so again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video